Okay, it says we're live. Hi guys! It's Lindsay from MyCreativeDays.com. I am here with Gabrielle, my daughter, and I had a post go live this morning and I've had a lot of questions about it and so I left the link up in the description but I thought, why not go live? She's making these all the time. Why not go live and show you how to make them real time so then you can see um, how to make them. And this is all about homemade squishies. I don't know if you guys, if your kids are going through the craze right now where squishies, you're buying squishies and wasting all your money on squishies. <laughs> They're the rage right now. And so we found a way to make them at home so you can save all your money. And the, the um, supplies, you might have some of this on hand, but the supplies, there's not that much and the, the kit makes a lot. So I thought I'd, we'd start out by first showing you what she uses, uh, the supplies that we have. And all the supplies are in the blog post as well, up above. If you hit that link um, in the description, it'll take you to the blog post and everything's linked in there and, and all the supplies are in there. The main thing you need is this Flex Foam It kit. That's what's going to make the squishies. So you can find it right on Amazon. I found that was the best price for me. That's, that's where I got it and the links in the blog. And this is what's inside, these little, um, these canisters. So you need this for to make the squishies. You also need what we use are solo cups. Um, you need a marker, permanent marker, um, scissors to cut the solo cups, and I'll explain that. Popsicle sticks. Uh, these. This is fabric glue or not glue? Paint. It's paint. <laughs> it's fabric paint. You. I, uh, this is what you'll use to paint them and make them come alive. And again, the. I found the best deal on Amazon, so I linked that in my post, the ones that we actually bought. And then you need silicone molds. You may have these in your house. These are, you know, like the cupcake silicone molds. And then they make, you know, they'll make the squishies like this. And then we have some donut molds, which obviously make them like this. And then she has some flower, can you guys see that? Flower molds, and we're actually gonna, she's gonna do the purple flower mold today to show you guys. Um, and is that it? Oh, you also need a little measuring, like something to measure with. This she got in a science kit, this is what she uses. It's like one of those medicine, uh, what are they called, measuring cups that you get like out of, you know, over-the-counter med uh, medicine, but, or just use tablespoons. And gloves. She, um, it says to use gloves. She sometimes forgets. I wrote that in my post, but okay. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to get started. The first thing she does is she cuts down the solo cups. If you can see here, she cuts them down at, at about half and she does that. So then it's, um, the pour isn't as long because once you start putting them together, you kind of have to work quickly because they set so quick. So that's why she cuts them down. So you could use even like those clear plastic cups or just because you're going to want to throw these out when you're done. So, okay, the first thing she does, you can go ahead and take your permanent marker and she she will write A on one cup. Go ahead. She'll write B on another cup and then she will write mix on the third cup. This just tells her which solution goes where. She's going to write the same thing on the three popsicle sticks. One will have A one will have B and one will have mix. So like you see here, A, B, mix, A, B and mix. Okay, so now what she does is she takes the A, go ahead, the A solution, which is this yellow thing, yellow box, and she, box, it's not a box, it's actually like a, Okay, go ahead. She'll measure that, go ahead. She'll measure that out in her measuring thing. And I don't know, does it say two tablespoons or is it just you wanna mix kind of the just same? Mix, yeah. The thing that I love about this is she's been doing this for a while now, once we figured it out. Um, so then she takes, here, I'm trying to say all the things at one time. She takes the A popsicle stick and then gets all of that solution out and puts it into her cup. The best thing about this is it's fun and it's creative, but yet it's kind of like a science experiment. And she's kind of learned 
like about the solutions and if you add a little bit more of this they're they're more squishy and if you don't they're more hard and so it's kind of science and creativity all wrapped in one which is really awesome okay can we get the camera next? oh yes here's another tip 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 <laughs> clean off this um yeah go ahead clean off the your rim of either one of these because they are horrible to try to um open if you don't and this one I'm just going to set on top because I see we have to clean it. But because you want them covered, you don't want to leave them uncovered. And same with your um, measuring device, whatever you're measuring, rinse it out each time. Unless you have a couple of these, then you can throw them out or, or use one for A and one for B. We would normally go use it at the sink, but for today's video, we're just wiping it out with a damp paper cloth. Or, yeah, paper towel, not paper cloth. Okay, so now you need B. So now she'll take the B... Mims, B mixture. And what have you learned about the B mixture? If you like put more than you put A, it's more squishy. If you put more of the B mixture in, she's found just a little bit more, or maybe it's a lot more. Is it a lot more, or do you just well, kind of play with it? I overflow it. She overflows it because then they're more squishy. So, um, and I did open this one too. If you're running out, oh, I think I can get it. Out. Okay. We'll see. Um. She started, though, making them just doing them the same, the same measurements, but um, then she just kind of played around with it, and <laughs> we might have to open this one, huh? Well, you're getting it full. Yeah, you're getting it full, but you might want to... It's good. But you'll want to put in a little extra, right? Or are you just going to do it? She overflowed it already. Okay, she overflowed it already, she said, so. so that's good. So I will put the lid on this. This one's pretty much gone. I did already get some questions this morning um, on the blog post. And this kit will last you a long time. Um, if you're having a birthday party and having multiple friends over to do this, this kit, one kit will do it. You'll make, you can, you've made a lot. <laughs> and what, this is our first kit that we bought and this is just out now. This is getting low and this one's still full. So one kit will last you a while. Same thing, she's just taking the B popsicle stick to get it all out of the measuring spoon and then and then she'll rinse it out later when we're not doing the video. If you have any questions, let me know and I will, um, I'll, tr I'll get up and try to answer them as we go. Okay, so now what do you do? You put them together. So now you're gonna put them together in the mix cup. Does it matter if you go A or B first? Have you found that? No. Doesn't matter. So just pour one in first and then I guess I didn't say cover your work surface. I buy these plastic table cloths whenever I find them on clearance. I just buy a bunch of them because somebody's always creating something. So I always want the surfaces <laughs> covered. So she just knows to go grab one of these tablecloths, puts it on our surface, and then and then she's good to go. Okay, and so she's got both of them in there. Now these you don't clean out, right? We just throw them. Yeah, just throw them. We just throw these. So. And she's really, like, she makes sure she gets it all out every time. Mm -hmm. You just want to make sure you get both of those in. Is this when you have to start working faster? Once you've mixed it and you start to pour, you have to work fast because it starts foaming up. Okay. So I don't know if you guys could hear her, but once she starts mixing it together um, and then pours it into a mold, she has to work super fast because it starts, set, it starts setting really fast. So now she takes her mix um, popsicle stick and she just mixes them. I could have done more B, but it's okay. She could have done more B if she wanted it more squishy, but is that it? Okay, once you have them mixed, then you will pour them in the mold. And this is, again, this is where the kids can play with it. You only need, was that too much? Yeah. Okay, you only need a tiny bit in the mold. So, I mean... Oh, <laughs> She's trying to hurry. Don't hurry. You're fine. So she's pouring a little bit too much in the molds, but I'll show you here when she's done how much. Are you going to need an extra one, do you think? Uh, no, I don't see it. No? Is that enough for... Should do. Ooh. Well, these will be really... So just that little mutt, which would have been like four tablespoons, made six squishies. Okay. 
And I'm not gonna wait the full, obviously, the full half hour, but if you guys can see here, oh, I don't wanna make them. <laughs> They're really not filled that much at all. So these will sit for a little while, and it usually takes about a half an hour to get them fully set. And you can see the process of this on the blog today. Just click that link again. But they turn out like this. They're white. Can you guys see this? this is the, the donuts. Here's her flowers. And while we do the rest of this, it might, it, we might be able to show it. Huh? It's, starting to get it's starting to already foam up and it, it just expands and grows in size. So once they're done and they are set, which like I said, takes about a half an hour, then you just peel them out. I mean, they're really easy. You just kind of bend and the silicone and they just kind of pop out. You pull them out. And once they're set, then this is my favorite part because this is where she gets to get creative. And they, like I said, they kind of come alive at this point. So you do need this kind of paint. It's fabric paint. Um, and that's it. The kids can just, can just create whatever they want. We just put it in this little dish here. She uses a paintbrush. And then, like I said, they come out. However, I'm, the lighting, it's like rainy outside today, so we get to turn the lights all on, so it's not that great. But like I said, she's got, um, do you want to start painting one just while we're here? I'm going to answer some questions. Do you want to do the donuts, or do you want to do the... Okay, that's fine. Which, okay, you can grab whatever color. Okay, can you guys, I'm gonna show them this. Let's go ahead. Can you guys already see? Like this one, you can tell she put way too much in. <laughs> and these are growing already. So it'll take about, like I said, a half an hour. And with these flower molds, I don't wanna flip it. The design's on the other side. So that's the part she would paint. I love the cupcakes she does and the donuts she does. Um, so you can pick up these molds anywhere. I bought some of these on, um, Amazon, but you can find them at yard sales and stuff all the time. Okay. I'm going to come over here while she's doing that and see if you guys have any questions. Why you, okay. Somebody asked why use the separate cups when they end up in the same cup to mix. That was just the directions that we found worked best. So I don't know, that would be fun to try out. Maybe don't use separate cups and just pour them in. I, it's just, that's what she, how she's done it and it's worked, so. Um, so that's what's. But you guys, since we, she's done this, this is a great activity, especially for summer right now. And you're not in the store buying these squishy things. And if you can see, they're really squishy. You must've put extra B in here. And she, <laughs> do you recommend extra B? Like how much more? Okay, so she really, she makes sure that that is, sometimes it's even, I've seen her even pour it in and it's kind of overflowing. So um, just put in extra B if they want them extra squishy. But it's a great activity. It's been hours and hours for her creating these things. So, and it's super simple and it's not that expensive. So I wanted to share it with you guys. I've got great response already this morning. So I thought we'd come on live and show you guys how to do it. So if you're not watching this live and you have questions later, please leave them in the comments and I will try and get to them today. But I think that's all guys. Is that it? Mm -hmm. and these don't take long to dry either. So she'll have a set of six, six new scrunch squishies, scrunchies. <laughs> that's what we used to wear in our hair. Squishies here today. So, okay, that's it. Bye guys. Bye.